Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, come on in here and sit down with me. Today we're going to look at verses 134 and 135 in Psalm 119. This is the pay division. We're talking about light. Light, the Word of God, the unfolding of God's words, gives light. And it does so many things. Also, one of the things it does, apparently, is it gives us a warrant for prayer. And so after he makes his opening statements there in 129 through 131, he begins his request section. We saw that yesterday. We had four requests yesterday. We're going to have the remaining three today. There's seven altogether. The last one yesterday, do not let any wickedness have mastery over me. I forgot to mention, here's another one of those do not let statements. We've had them. Uh, we've had nine of them. This would be the ninth one. Verse 8, 10, 19, 31, 36, 43, 116, 122, and now here in 133. Do not let. Here it's do not let any wickedness or iniquity have mastery or dominion over me. And I mentioned yesterday Paul's statement about that in Romans 6. Let me read for us 134 and 135 today. Ransom me from the oppression of men, and I will keep your precepts. Shine the light of your face on your servant, and teach me your statutes. Okay, so we have ransom me, shine the light of your face, and teach me. Those are his requests as he continues praying here in these two verses. So ransom me, or uh, deliver me, King James says, deliver me from the oppression of man, Ransom or deliver, this is, again, only the work of God. God alone can do that work. And so the psalmist is praying that God would do this work in his life because that's something that the psalmist can't do. He can't ransom himself from the oppression of men. And the oppression of men is wickedness. And so that's something that only God can, can do. I will keep your precepts. Notice that we've had keep in verse 129. Therefore, my soul keep does. Therefore, does my soul keep them? That's in response to his statement. Marvelous are your testimonies. And then we have it again here. Uh, Ransom me from the works of men. I will keep your precepts. And then we're going to see it again in one thirty-six, concerning those who do not keep your law. So he pledges to keep the testimonies. He asks God to ransom him so that he can keep the, the precepts, and then he's brokenhearted about those who don't keep the law. So keeping here is another, again, it's just that it's so important. How many times have we had this word keep in Psalm 119? I'm going to keep. Lord, help me keep. Yeah, so it's all over the place. So this, again, what a wonderful request that is. I mean, you could turn... I will keep your precepts into, uh, Lord, help me to keep your precepts. Ransom me from the works of men, from the oppression of men, and help me to keep your precepts. I mean, that would be a great prayer to take into the prayer closet, wouldn't it? Shine the light of your face on your servant. Now, this, of course, comes out of this idea of shining the light of the face of God. It comes out of that uh, priestly prayer. I think it's in Numbers chapter 26 that ironic prayer that the Lord gave Aaron to pray. Shine the light of your face upon us, or the, uh, the light of your countenance upon us. And that that prayer there in Numbers. And uh, wonderful, and it comes over here in Psalm 119, 135. Shine the light of your face on your servant. Why? And teach me your statutes. I think those two go together very well. Light, again, brings teaching because it brings understanding. Unfolding of your words gives light, instructing the simple ones. Shine the light of your face on your servant and teach me. So there he, he's making a declarative, a declarative sentence. The unfolding of your words gives light, instructing simple ones. Here it's a prayer. Shine the light of your face upon your servant. Teach me. 
The light brings instruction. Okay, join me again tomorrow, and we'll look at verse 136 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.